Raffles has been used as an icon, as a monument for Singapore. It is associated with things that are prestigious. Raffles is a statue that I passed by when I was growing up, living along the Singapore River. But there's a white man with folded arm looking down the river. What I'm interested to do is to see that if there is any way I can uh, go about deconstructing it. I read a book about Rifles and the British um, uh, invasions of Java. That's when I found out actually Rifles did a lot of other things. He uh, looted the palace and humiliated the Sultan. He's not as heroic and uh, gentlemanly as he is perceived to be here in Singapore. I decided to like cut off the head and the feet having seen what the past Sultan has done to traitors. This is what I've come up with. This is how the Sultan would do in order to forgive what Raffles has done to uh, Java. I made a sculpture of him. One part of it becomes a stove top. On this stove, I will make a cake called Kwe Kapit, also known as uh, Love Letters by offering the cake to you, that you might uh, free yourself of uh, coloniality. Um, yeah, it's a bit shocking, I guess, to see him being opened up and used as like a stove. It's pretty dark. Isn't he the one who founded Singapore? And yet, uh, he's not being respected in that way. It's not easy for Singaporeans to think about colonialism and what it means to them. First of all, it's a very long time ago. Also, I think uh, Singaporeans are too busy making money to think about history. We have not a culture of being critical or being involved with our political decisions. I have hoped that uh, Singaporeans would see my work and question uh, what it takes to uh, make a monument to think more deeply about what nation building means.